Hey everyone, welcome to week 24 of 12 Months of Bliss. This week we are gonna go on a date night. I'm pretty pumped about this because I think it is something that is very important in any relationship to keep dating each other so you still feel like you did when you first met your special someone. If you're not in a relationship, don't worry though because a date night doesn't have to be with a significant other or your husband or your wife. It can be with friends, you're gonna have a girls night. If you want to just take time for yourself, have some me time, then I think that is super important too. So whatever season of life you're in, you can still have a date night. What I'm gonna share with you is a couple years ago, I made a date night jar. So I'm gonna go through some of these. It was literally, you just take a mason jar, you can find whatever to put this in, but see it says, date night ideas, J and A, and this is kind of like our discard pile, so after we pick one, we put it in here, and you literally just write them on popsicle sticks. So I'm gonna go through these to give you all some ideas of what you can do this week. Before I do that, one thing I wanna say is when you go on your date, make sure you're looking good, because when you look good, you feel good, and who knows what that may lead to. <laughs> okay, so these are dates that I actually, a couple years ago, I googled date night or date night jar. I think I might have seen this on Pinterest and there was a big list and actually Justin and I had a date night to make our date night jar. That was really fun. So here's some things. I'm just gonna read off of them and then I'm gonna go through and talk about some of the ones that we've done and how fun that has been. Here we go. Go get a special dessert. Manny adventure, so Manny's our dog, so taking him, you know, on a trip somewhere. Breakfast in bed, couples massage. That can get pricey, but I mean, you don't have to go and buy one, you can do one at home. Driving range, plan a dream trip, real or fake. This is actually something that we did, we didn't draw it out of here, but we planned our Vegas trip, which was a lot of fun. We went out to dinner and we literally just planned it all out and we're doing that now too for a trip to watch a Florida Gators game. Baker cook together, that's another fun one because it's all about teamwork. Go shooting, so like at a shooting range. Have a tourist day in Indy or wherever you may be at. Take a hike, pack a picnic, you can do both of those together wine or, or beer tasting or both. So I feel like a lot of times we have wineries and breweries that are local in our area and if you like, you know, to try different beers or different wines, this may be a really fun one to, to go do. Stargazing, that's a good one for outside, to get outside more. Go for a bike ride, another good outside one. Outdoor indoor market that could be a flea market that could be a um, like a farmers market Volunteer together Wander around the library listen to live music Watch a documentary That's more inside, but you know, it's probably something that you haven't done. Maybe the classic dinner and movie um, happy hour Maybe you meet each other after work one night and get drinks. Go for a walk. Movie marathon with popcorn. Theme taco night. Crash an open house. If you're searching for a house, or even if not, that could be a lot of fun. Last one, let's talk about. You know what I mean. Okay, these are ones that we've done together. And some of these have been really fun. Game night, bowling, you know, those are typical draw or paint with each other so we actually went to i think michael's and bought a um one of the adult coloring books and we did that one night that was pretty fun shoot hoops at our old apartment they had like a basketball court so we went out there um we did that several times because it was nice because it was fenced in so we could bring manny and shut the door and he would run around while we shot hoops have a scavenger hunt this one is was really really fun um actually I'm gonna show you because I have a I have a collage of our scavenger hunt. So in a second, I'll take you over there and show you what that looks like. We did it all around downtown Indy. So we just went to different things. I think I had like five or ten things on the list of things to do. I'll show you when we get over there. Build a blanket fort. 
that one's that was fun. We did that, and then we watched a movie. So we built the blanket fort, like, or put the made sure the TV was inside that. So even though it's inside, still doing something something new and different. Go thrift shopping. Ooh. We when we first bought this house, that was one of the ones we did. And it was just funny because I thought we would find something for the house, and I don't I don't think we did. But yeah, here's some ideas for you. I'm gonna walk you over here to this scavenger hunt collage so I can show you. So this was the scavenger hunt collage. Here's some of the different ideas. Give food to a homeless person, go to the Pacers Pro Shop, um, scav yeah, this was the whole scavenger hunt. Find three pumpkins, kiss at the Indian or at the Indy Monument, try and funny clothes at the mall, dinner, see how many license plates we can find. Um, imitate the dancing lady on Mass Ave. So here's like Indy. We tried on like the funny clothes. We had each other pick out outfits, which was really fun. Um, we went on the canal and we bought Manny a toy because this was the week before we got him. That was really, really fun as like <laughs> a last date night before we got a child, AKA Manny the puppy. Be behaving so well right there. I want you to have a lot of fun with this challenge this week and let us know what you did in the Facebook group because this may give some other people some ideas and if you make your own date night jar, let's see it. Alright guys, have fun. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.